There was a lot of physical abuse that went on in the second school. Uh, when I say physical abuse, I'm on about um, uh, uh, beatings, well, full-on beatings. I'm talking carers um, jumping in with some of the bigger kids um, running in your room at a fucking 11, 12 midnight um, with football boots and pillowcases. The last boarding school was, was the worst um, and it was only up until recently that um, I found out that at least on, on one occasion um, that I was sexually abused in that school. I did a video for her because they couldn't identify one of the carers. One of them was called Mr. Johnson. Couldn't identify him, couldn't find him. So I did a video uh, saying um, about what he did. And I was talking to him on this video. And uh, I mentioned in the video, the thing is, life's a bitch. Because out of all of them kids that you were fucking abusing at that time, you, you had no idea that one of them kids was going to be this superstar in, in social, in this thing that we call social media. It doesn't even fucking exist yet. And he ended up being a fan of mine, believe it or not. I can very easily go on that self-destructive mode, 100%. And there's things, I've had fantasies about it, um, hurting people, destroying people that have hurt me. Now apparently it was an unreleased fucking copy of the book and bookies were taking bets on who fucking died. So apparently it was worth a shitload of money. I've never I've never read a book in my life until this fucking point. <laughs> so I certainly never fucking watched that Harry Potter, so I knew fuck all about it. But what I did have um, was I had tools and I had a gun. I started doing videos on training, this is how it started. All of a sudden, um, I started having a bit of a fucking um, following. It went up to something like 60,000 just on training. People were loving it, people were coming down, they were um, paying for PTs, they were driving all the way from Manchester, and I'd be in the fucking cupboard crying. My brother would be like, listen, I don't want to hear your shit, go and train. I stayed in, in the gym one night, and I filled a syringe up with, with insulin, and um, I cried that much that I fell asleep with it in my hand. And I woke up the next morning. I had 260,000 followers at that point. Um, and he said, yeah, no problem. I did it. And we put them up for sale and we did 17 and a half grand in one hour. That was the moment then everything changed.